Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. It's Florence Akan here. And in this video, I will be walking you through the process of finding your new NOC code using the newly published NOC 2021, as well as walking you through the process of updating your Express Entry Profile with your new NOC code. So the first step is knowing what your previous NOC code is. Now, this is a national occupation website that I'll be walking you through this exercise. Knowing what your previous NOC code was using NOC 2016 before the update to NOC 2021. And as you can see here, you could search for your NOC code by either the title or by the NOC code itself. So if you remember what those four digit numbers were previously, you could search by it because sometimes your job title might not necessarily have matched the title of your NOC code. And I'm going to give you an example. And we search. It tells me that this NOC code is aligned with this particular NOC code in NOC 2021. Now, if you wanted to check again, just to be sure that it's the right one, you want to see where this NOC code was sitting in 2016, you want to search, switch that up to 2016, and then click search. And when you click on search, you'll see that it's coming up as 1241. So you understand what I mean by the title is not always the same with what your job title may not be the same as what the NOC code title is. Sometimes it might not even pop up here for you. So that is why if you already had a profile, you need to know what that previous NOC code was. So we're going to go back to NOC 2021 and search. And then you also want to make sure that it is in the right tier for express entry, which it still is. It's a tier three. It was a NOC B before, it's now a tier three. And this is how you get it. So now you have your new NOC code, which is 13110. So that's your new NOC code, 13110. And now you'll be able to go update your Express Entry Profile. You could always search by um, NOC codes as well. So if you, if you remember what your NOC code for 2016 was, the previous one, this is what the number that all of us have been used to for so many years, 1111. You search for it, it's there. And remember with NOC codes, it's not just about the title. You always have to read to make sure that the lead statement, this is the lead statement that IRCC is looking for, is aligned with what your job is about. Not just the lead statement, you also want to go down into the section of the main duties to ensure that the main duties are aligned. They don't have to be exact, they just need to be aligned. And when someone else reads it, they need to feel like, yes, this is the right NOC code. The beauty of this website is it gives you a lot of information. It confirms that it's at the skill level that is eligible for express entry. It also gives you other index titles that you could actually use to better learn and confirm as well that this NOC code is the right NOC code for you. In addition to all of this, it also provides you the educational requirements for that particular um, employment requirements for that particular NOC code and will list out the level of education. It would also add any additional information regarding that NOC code that you need to be aware of. And it will tell you exclusions as well. So for example, in some countries, uh, financial auditors or even account financial accountants could be called um, could be called uh, financial technicians or something or bookkeepers. And basically what the NOC code here is telling you is that it's different. So you can see here that it's not just about the title, but you have to complete an in-depth analysis to ensure that you're choosing the right NOC code. So that's 2016. Now I'm going to change this to 2021. Let's see what the NOC for that particular occupation is for 2021. So financial auditors is 11100 in 2021. Again, you can see very similar is now it is a tier one. The breakdown is still the same. The educational requirements are still the same. All of this is still there. And even the NOC codes for the exclusions have also been updated as well to those five digit numbers. So this is an example of how you walk through and really ensure that you have the right NOC code. Now, once you have your NOC code, your new five digit NOC code identified, it is time for you to update your Express Entry Profile. With your Express Entry Profile, of course, you're gonna log into your account. And when you log into your account, it takes you to view your profile. And right here on your Express Entry Profile status, you'll see all the nice and dandy stuff about your profile. And what you want to click on is View Profile. Once you click on View Profile, it will take you into your candidate profile. So you can see here that whatever you've transmitted to IRCC is showing transmitted. And the section we need to update is now in progress, which is your work history section. 
So you click into that and then it brings you here. It takes you right to your primary NOR code and it asks you for your five digit NOR code for your primary NOR code that you're using for your express entry profile. Now, this is typically the NOR code where you have at least a minimum of one year continuous work experience in for your express entry profile. And once you update that in there, the next section that it moves you to is actually your job history. Your work history is already blank with the NOC code. So you can see here that the five digit NOC code is not available. And if you already had a profile, you know that there was a NOC code here, but it's no longer there. So what you need to do is click on modify. And once you click on modify, it will open a screen for you to update your profile. When it opens up your job screen, it still maintains all of the job titles and every other thing that you had. The only thing that's blank is the five digit NOC code. So now with the new NOC code that we already searched for, you can now place that here again. Um, if it's um, the NOC code that is aligned with your primary NOC code, at least one of your work experience should be aligned with your primary NOC code. So you want to make sure that it is aligned and then you update it. Once you update it, it now shows on here. So right here, you can see the NOC code for this particular client of ours. It has been added for her. And if she had other work experience, we would have to go in and update each of the work experience, just like we have done. Now, once you update it, the best part is done. Your NOC code is now updated. Now you come back to the screen and guess what? It was in progress before, but now it's showing updated. It shows that it has been updated in case you wanted to change anything. And now you can click on continue. When you have updated it, don't just wait here and think my work is done and log out of your profile because it would not submit. What you need to do again is retransmit this profile so that it could be added back into the express entry pool. And what you want to do now is click on continue. And once you click on continue, it's going to ask you again for your name and your declaration and electronic signature, basically going to ask for your name is going to ask for your security question that you had and then you click on sign once you click on sign we are exactly where we want to be you have successfully updated your NOC code for your express entry profile that's how you do it that's how you find your NOC code and that's how you update your profile now if you have any questions about how to do this feel free to reach out to my team and I, and we would be happy to walk you through. If you don't even have an express entry profile, contact us. We would be happy to assess your eligibility for express entry or for permanent residence, res, uh, residency as a whole, and also get a profile created for you so that you're in the run to become permanent resident sometime soon. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please click the like button, subscribe, and also share this video with all of the PR hopefuls who are looking to come to Canada very soon as permanent residents. Talk to you in our next video.